Hi guys, today we're going through histograms and in this video we're going to be looking at how to construct the histogram graph by using the table and how to use the table efficiently. This is a typical example of a histogram table which is separated into two parts. The first part is the class interval which is our height and the second part is the frequency which mentions the amount of people in the class interval. First thing you should do for a histogram question is you have to find out your class width. To find out your class width, you look at your class interval column and you look at the two numbers. So in our case it's 26 and 24 and you find the difference between the two. So the difference between 26 and 24 is 2, so our class width is 2. And for the next one, 27 and 26, the difference there is 1. For the next one, 28 and 27, the difference there is also 1. And for 31 and 28, the difference there is 3. And for the final one, 37 and 31, the difference there is 6. Now that we've found our class width, the next thing we need to find is the frequency density. To find the frequency density, the formula is... Frequency density equals our frequency divided by our class width. That's going to be our next column. So frequency density will be 50 divided by 2 which is 25, 50 divided by 1, 50, 60 divided by 1, which is 60, 120 divided by 3, which is 40, and 120 divided by 6, which is 20. That is our frequency density. Now that we've got our table completed, we can use that onto our graph the two things we need for our graph are the class interval, which is our height, and the frequency density. The frequency density will be going on your y-axis right there, and your class interval from 24 all the way to 37 will be going on your x-axis. So now that we know our x values and y values, we just need to start plotting them. So our x-axis is 24 to 26 so it will go from 24 to 26 and, it'll, and our frequency density is 25 so our bar will go all the way up to 25 which is just roughly here and that is our first bar our second one is 26 and 27 and our frequency density is 50 so 26 to 27 is roughly here and uh, should go all the way up to here. You can notice that there are different, uh, the bars are in different widths. That doesn't matter, our frequency, uh, histograms are meant to be like that. So the next one is also 27 to 28, that's 60. So let's just take that all the way up here. Should just be roughly there. Now for our next point, that's 28 to 31, and our frequency density is 40. So 28 to 31, which is roughly here, and our point is 40. Just around here. And our last point is 31 to 31 and 37 to, and our frequency density is 20. It's 31 to 37, just roughly here. That's it. That's our frequency, that's our histogram graph.